On October 2, 2020, in the middle of the Second Nagorno-Karabakh War, French President Emmanuel Macron made a speech in which he accused the Azerbaijani side of using Syrian mercenaries against the Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh. This accusation was rejected by the Azerbaijani government, which qualified the information as fake news. But now the question is, which of these two men was telling the truth? And today, using different sources, we are going to find out. Let's start by the first video. On September 27, 2020, the day the war began, a video was shared on social networks of so-called Syrian mercenaries, which has been transferred from Azerbaijan to the Nagorno-Karabakh region to fight against the Armenians. In this video, we can see soldiers on pickup trucks shouting God is great in Arabic as if they were going into the battle. But now the question is, how can we prove that this video was shot in Azerbaijan? Let's start by improving the video quality by using artificial intelligence. Now we can try to locate where the video was shot. On the foreground we can see a sidewalk, and behind the trees what seems to be an electrical installation. Later in the video, we can see two big structures on the background. Here and there. Now we can use these two screenshots to try to find the location. After some research, I found this video made by an Azerbaijani blogger in 2019, in which the town of Horadis in Azerbaijan is presented. In this video we can see this, several drone views of the city. And here, at this time code. If we zoom in, we can recognize here the two structures from our second screenshot. And if we look closer, we can see that the sidewalk here and the electrical installation here are the same as in our first screenshot. Based on this information, we were able to accurately find the location of the video, and it takes place right here in Horadis. Here we see that this building is the same as in the video, and we can also recognize the shadow of the structure on the ground right here. So we can determine that the camera was here and that the pickup convoy was going in this direction. Here we can also recognize the electrical installation of our first screenshot. Now that we have the location, the date and the context, can we say that these soldiers are mercenaries? No, because they could simply be Azerbaijani soldiers. And that's what I took before seeing this second video. In this video posted a few days later on Telegram channels, we can see Arabic-speaking soldiers calling on friends to come from Syria and Libya to fight against the Armenians. Now we have the same problem. How can we prove that this video was shot in Azerbaijan? For try to locate the video, we're going to use the same method. Let's take a closer look at the clip. At the beginning of this one, the cameraman films himself and his friends.
Here behind the pickups we can see a white wall, on the left a small shelter and behind it a big building. Later in the video, the cameraman turns his phone on his other friends to film them. Behind them we can see another white wall, some vegetation, and on the right an observation tower. Now we can use these two screenshots to find the location. After some research, I found this article posted by the press service of the Azerbaijani border detachment, in which a new military garrison in the town of Horazis is presented. In the article, several photos of the new garrison are shown, and one of them correspond perfectly to our screenshots made in the video of the Arabic-speaking soldiers. If we zoom in here, we see that the white wall, the small shelter and the large structure behind are exactly the same as in the video. We can see that all is perfectly corresponding. Now, based on the information provided in the article, we were able to geolocate the video and it takes place right here in Horadis, at only 2.6 kilometers from the pickup convoy video. For having more accurate imagery, we will use the Yandex Map satellite, which has better colors than the Google satellite. We can see that the location is right here. The white wall, the little shelter and the large building, all is corresponding. We can also see here the white wall and vegetation of the second screenshot and the observation tower just here. There is no duped, the video was taken here. Now, let's make a short summary of all the information we have. We have two videos located in Azerbaijan, less than 3 kilometers from each other, in which we see Arabic-speaking soldiers on pickup trucks wearing the same uniforms and all this in the middle of the Second Nagorno-Karabakh war. So, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is that French President Emmanuel Macron was telling the truth. Azerbaijan did use mercenaries in this conflict against the Armenians. And in fact, here I'm only using two videos to demonstrate this, but the videos and photos documenting the presence of this fighter in Azerbaijan a dozen on the internet, and if I had to analyze them all, it will take hours. Now that we know that Azerbaijan has used mercenaries, what does this really mean? Firstly, that the Azerbaijani government has violated the basics of international law, lied to its own people, and lied in front of all nations. Secondly, that Azerbaijan, which has invested billions of dollars to buy weapons during 30 years, needed the help of four game fighters to win the war against Armenia, whose army was three times smaller than Azerbaijan's. And finally, I'd like to remind you that in September 2023, Azerbaijan launched another aggression against Nagorno-Karabakh, calling it an anti-terrorist operation. An aggression that lasted 24 hours and forced the 100,000 Armenians in the region to flee. But now, my question is, how can the Azerbaijan government carry out anti-terrorist operation when this same government is accomplice of terrorism?